This is 14 boxes full of key issues from my collection. Last time we went through this box, it was a lot of fun. I think in today's video, we're gonna go through this box. Let's take a quick peek. Uh, oh yeah, looks like there's bronze and silver age stuff in here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a real fun box. All right, let's start digging through that box. Okay, let's start going through this box. Let's see what we got. We have ROM number two, we're back with the toy comics. <laughs> I know that was one of Jason's favorite videos so far. Uh, Batman at Death and the Family, 426. So we're getting kind of uh, repetitive now. Let's see if we can find some new stuff. Uh, Death and the Family, 429. Okay, those are cool though. I do really like that run. Uh, oh, Star Wars number one. This is one of the, uh, I think the three pack reprints. Super neat though. Uh, Batman 655. I think this is the first... Uh, Damon Wayne Robin. Uh, Mega Man number three. First appearance of Lobo. That's a real fun key. I think I bought a bunch of those. Uh, old Man Logan number 68. Do love my Old Man Logan books. So you'll see those often in these videos. Uh, Warlock number three. Uh, oh, ROM number one. All right, more ROM number ones. I don't know how many I have in my collection. I must have a bunch. It's just one of those books that every time I see it for a buck, I buy it. Uh, Batman 239, really fun cover. Awesome book. Uh, Excellent Worlds Apart number one. J. Scott Campbell artwork. Okay, ooh, okay, we're getting some Silver Age Spidey books. This is what I really want to see. I want to see... Amazing Spider-Man number 64. Amazing cover. Absolutely love that book. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 91. Another beautiful book. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 65. Man, I love Silver Age Spidey books so much. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 61. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 62. Awesome Medusa cover. Love that cover. Uh, Strange Tales 148. Awesome Doctor Strange cover. All right, this is great. This is a very heavy Silver Age so far. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 52. Amazing Spider-Man number 55. Amazing Spider-Man number 71. Awesome Quicksilver cover. Amazing Spider-Man number 67. All right, Amazing Spider-Man number 57. Awesome Kazar cover. Amazing Spider-Man number 58. So I'm guessing these Spideys probably just came from a single collection I bought. Just because there's so many in a row here. Or I organized them at some point. Amazing Spider-Man number 42. Not in numerical order, but just that I had all my Amazing Spider-Man together. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 59. I believe that's the first Mary Jane cover. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 60. Awesome Kingpin cover. Amazing Spider-Man number 63. Strange Tales number 147. Uh, okay, now we're getting to some newer stuff again. Uh, Booster Gold, number one. I think that's the first appearance of Booster Gold. Uh, Sex Criminals, number one. Evil Ernie, number five. I feel like I'm having one every two or three boxes. I don't have one and two, I don't think. But I have the other ones from that series, which are cool. I need to find a one and a two. Dark Mansion of Forbidden Love, number three. Absolutely love the covers on this series. The Sinister House of Secret Love, number two. Love that. Uh, G.I. Joe 21, the really awesome uh, homage cover. Love that. Incredible Hulk number one, the um, reprint of the first appearance of Wolverine. Green Lantern number 49. This is I just love that cover. Such a classic cover. Green Lantern number 50. Wolverine number 8. Detective Comics 404, beautiful cover. Batman 218. Detective 425. You know, I feel like a lot of these issues I have sorted into my Batman collection as well. So I probably have some duplicates I need to pull out. Uh, this Batman stuff, I absolutely love it. But I don't feel like I, ha I need to keep all I don't need the spec on it. Uh, Detective 450. Uh, Deadpool 0, the Wizard variant. Gotham City Girls number 1. Again, I probably pulled out a dollar bin. Uh, Civil War number 1. Astonishing X-Men number 43. Awesome Arthur Adams cover. Uh, Teen Titans number 37. I need to get that sorted into my Teen Titans box. Uh, X-23 Target X number 1. Awesome cover. Avengers 89. Really awesome Captain Marvel cover. Uh, Wolverine Origins number 10. I believe that's the first appearance of Dakin. Alright, let me clear these out. 
right, Wolverine number 10, Outcast number one. Did they make an Outcast show? It says coming soon to Cinemax. Did it actually come out? That must be a reprint of it. Uh, Defenders number 26, the first appearance of one of these guys. Maybe him? No, that's Yondu. I forget which first appearance, but I believe there's a first appearance in that one. Uh, Conan 19 in pretty decent shape. That's an awesome cover. I really got to see what I need in Conan because I would like to finish that setup. Uh, Giant Size Spider-Man number one. Really nice shape. Awesome cover. Avengers 48, the first Black Knight. I feel like a little deja vu here. <laughs> Avengers number 19, the first Swordman. Low grade, but still fun to have. Uh, Weird Mystery Tales number one. That's awesome. I love having the Bronze Age horror key issues. Uh, DC Special number three. Absolutely love that cover. That's one of my all-time favorite covers. Um, the Biological Show issue one. This is a pretty obscure but kind of pricey indie book. Uh, DC Comics present Harley Quinn number one. So I believe that's a reprint. Still has a little bit of value. Uh, New Age Comics number one. It's a nice uh, indie comic. Uh, Moon Knight number one. Detective 566. Invincible Iron Man 500 variant edition. New Mutants number 25. Absolutely love this Bill Sinkavage cover. And I think this is um First Legion cameo, if I'm right. Marvel Comics Presents number one. X Factor 24, first appearance of Archangel. Outcast 1. All right, so this one doesn't say soon to be a show. So this is... uh Oh, no, it says third printing. So that's a third printing. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents number one. Uh, so I don't know how high this one has gone, but this is, I believe, blip number one. This is a major, major key issue. This is a key Like right now, I'm guessing it has a couple hundred dollars in value, but this is the first comic appearance of Donkey Kong and Mario. So one day, people will be buying this thing like they're buying AF-15. I'm pretty sure of it. Pretty sure of it, just because of the video game connection. Uh, Avengers number 47. That's super cool. Low grade, but still fun to have. Uh, Wolverine Deadpool number one. A fun Scotty Young cover. Luke Cage number three. Uh, Lady Mechanica number three. Beautiful cover. I really love the covers on that series. Uh, Tales of the Spence 88. Uh, Batman Detective Comics 737. Harley cover. Uh, Avengers number eight. First Black Order. As you can see, a lot of the stuff is just stuff that I've pulled out dollar bins. So a lot of the stuff, there was at one point where you could find them all the time. New Mutants number 88, uh, second appearance of Cable. Got a couple copies of that. Uh, New Mutants 86, the first Liefeld work on New Mutants. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Liefeld, but I remember when these came out, I actually liked these. Now, these Liefeld books are actually kind of a little bit better. And I just recently realized the reason why... I like this early New Mutants Liefeld work is because McFarlane inked it. So his inking kind of improved it a little bit. That's why. Because, <laughs> you know, later on when McFarlane's not inking his stuff, it's just like not as good. Uh, Batman Adventures number 10, an amazing Catwoman cover. Absolutely love that cover. I got a couple copies of that. So it looks like we're getting into some of my Batman Adventures stuff. Uh, Batman Gotham Adventures number one. Awesome book. Uh Batman Strikes 26. I believe this is a key issue. I would have pulled out all the key issues from the run to put in here. I just forget what the key is. I'm sure someone will let me know. And then uh, Batman Strikes number 28. Awesome cover. So yeah, read the comments. I'm sure a lot of people will say what the key significance is of some of these. I think this one just has a beautiful cover. It's an awesome Darwin Cook cover. I think because of that, that one has some value. Uh, Batman Strikes number 43. Harley cover. Batman Strikes 35, another awesome Harley cover. I absolutely love all these Harley books. All the Batman Adventures related Harley books are some of my favorite. Uh, Batman Strikes 41. And I lucked out because I liked Harley from the 90s. I bought a lot of these like 10 years ago for 50 cents or a dollar each. Uh, Justice League Adventures number 13. Batman Adventures number 16, the wedding issue. That one's awesome. Batman Strikes number 32. Uh, Batman Gotham Adventures 45, another Harley cover. Batman Gotham Adventures, another Harley cover. Absolutely love those Harley books. Uh, Batman Strikes 45, another Harley Quinn cover. Batman Gotham Adventures 43, another Harley cover. 
Uh, Detective Comics 477. I forget the significance of this. Someone will let us know in the description. Uh, Detective Comics 576. I think that's a McFarlane cover. Pretty awesome comic. Uh, Detective 578. Another McFarlane cover. Love that. Uh, Batman Adventures number three. I think this is the second series. Another beautiful Harley cover. Uh, Batman Adventures 18. Awesome Joker cover. Absolutely love that one. That one's stunning to me. Uh, Batman Gotham Adventures number 29. Another beautiful Harley cover. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 500. The J. Scott Campbell cover. That's awesome. Now, I J. Scott Campbell, I kind of like his work. I'm not the biggest fan of his work, but I realized... It's when Sabine Rich colors this stuff is when I absolutely love it. I realize I love Sabine Rich's coloring more than I love the line work. Uh, well, she didn't color that one, though. Uh, Batman Adventures number 36. That's an awesome cover. Batman Strikes number 49. DMZ number one. That was one I was specking on a bit for a while. Uh, Detective 464. I believe that's the first appearance of someone. The Deadpool miniseries number one. Batman 663. I've had a couple of these. So this must be a first appearance of someone. Uh, X-23 number 4. Not sure why I have that one in there. I mean, I know this whole run has a bit of value. I don't know why that particular one, though. Because I have a separate box for my X-23. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet number 3. Superman Adventures number 65. I think that's an early Livewire appearance. Uh, Detective 532. Awesome Joker cover. Absolutely love Joker covers. Uh, Detective 577, another awesome McFarlane cover. Superman Adventures number 66. That's an awesome cover. Love that one. Superman Adventures 41. So all these must be key issues that I pulled out of the run at some point. I'm not 100% sure what the key is on all of them. But what I would have done is I would have went through my run and like looked them up and pulled out all the ones that are key. Uh, Batman Adventures Holiday Special number one. I'm pretty sure that's a pretty key issue. Uh, okay, so the rest of this box are comics that were in my 1990s top 10 video. So we have Spawn 1, the newsstand. I just threw them back in the box. Uh, Stars and Stripes number zero, first Stargirl appearance. That one's quite valuable at these days. Uh, Supergirl Adventures number 21. I love, love, love this Bruce Tim cover. Such a beautiful cover. I uh, got two copies of that. I might have another copy or two floating around somewhere. Uh, Batgirl Adventures number one. Another awesome Bruce Tim cover. Absolutely love it. Uh, Ghost Rider number one. 90s classic. I really, really like this comic when it came out. And I think I have... At least I had four that I had sorted out. I probably have a few more. Oh, that one needs a new bag and board. I have a few floating around, though. I know I have a few more somewhere. That might just be my Ghost Rider runs. Um, X-Men number four, First Omega Red. Another book I know I have a bunch more of, but so far I found three in these boxes. I think I have one stack I bought from a collection that had like 20 of them. <laughs> uh, Dark Hawk number one, 90s classic, and Dark Hawk number one, so newsstand and direct. I do like collecting newsstand and direct on most comics. It's kind of fun to have the variants. So that box was a ton of fun. I really like the Batman Adventure stuff and the Silver Age Spidey stuff. All right, look for another one of my amazing key issue boxes in a video very soon.